Our seas are great, our seas are caring, an epitome of humility and service. We are specially ordained for this vocation. Yes, I'm proud to be an honor. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chidi Smiley. In today's video, I will be advising new students that want to come into nursing. These are things you have to know before you step your foot into nursing. This video is real, it is realistic. So watch till the end. If you are new here, please subscribe below and turn your bell notification so that when next I upload, you come and watch me. I am currently in my 400 level studying in issues that's any good state university science and technology so today i will be giving you guys four tips or advice you have to know before you step your foot into nursing school from the title obviously number one is dress code it's not all the dresses you see you wear we have our dress code being white you all know nothing white that is our clothes then our hair you have to make short hair this hair you are seeing on my neck this hair you are seeing on my head is long to compare how they want it in nursing school be it bsc be it rn so this hair is long they want neck length they don't even want shoulder because most times students will do shoulder they'll be like this thing is long this one now most matron will see it and say this hair is long tell me how is this hair long again is hair color you don't make any type of hair color the only limits you can make is black or brown human hair color you know those human hair color if it's it is red blue purple it is banned you have to use that hair immediately there is this clip i'm going to insert a picture of me i made one hair that relates to brown and i wore it to class a matron saw me and told me that you have to use this hair this is not our hair color blah 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 i had to lose that hair that is how it is in nursing school the next on my book is not going home i could count how many times i went home from my first day to 400 level just twice aside from the december that is the only time you have to go home other times like during summer doing we don't do summer we don't do break at all so if you are coming to nursing school thinking that you have to go home sub subsequently Council it to go and change another department, go and change another course because it is not possible. So I asked this woman, don't they go home during their own time? Because it sounds strange. Why can't you go home? You've missed your parents, you've missed your friend. She told me that our own is actually better that they give us break during December. That during their own time, December, they are in the hospital working with patients. So you see how ethic it is. So change your mindset in case you feel like if you come you travel to ghana travel to america travel to this travel to that it is not possible in nursing school the next on my list is assignments bro in a semester you will submit like 30 to 40 assignments i'm not exaggerating if i'm exaggerating leave it like that it is not easy most times you forget that oh they give this assignment they give this one they give this one and again aside from the assignments you present it in class you have pied work you'll be thinking of yourself you'll be thinking of your family you'll be thinking of school you'll be thinking of this is emotional stress and nobody is there for them to counsel you to give you that therapeutic counsel no nobody is there you have to work it out by yourself and if you are not strong enough the stress is gonna kill you like if if, if you don't have that coat of stressors in you you won't survive in nursing school so if you know that you're not too strong to develop or adapt into stress please don't come to nursing school because what your eyes gonna see your tongue your tongue gonna see your eyes so that is the way it is there are lots of stress in nursing school particularly the next i have to give you is reading hard mm -hmm. you have to read hard you read for your patient you read all types of diseases that a patient could have even in the future one, you have to read them. Because it is embarrassing that you come to the hospital and a patient tell you that, see, I'm having this and you don't even know the symptoms, you don't even know how to diagnose, you don't even know how to start asking your nursing process, whatever. You have to read all type of diseases. No. Patients respect nurses if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, they'll just take you as if you're all these 
people sweeping in the hospital, all these whack nurses. But if you know what you're doing, they will respect you. And they respect us more than doctors, if I'm not mistaken. So you have to be focused, you have to be diligent, you have to understand what you are in school to do. And if you have any side also, you know how to schedule your time. You have your time management. And if you don't have your time management in other school, it's not gonna work, okay? Like me now, I am a social media person and, and 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 also i'm a nursing student most times people tell me Chidi, how do you cope with your social media and your school but i have my time management if you have your time management it's gonna work out for you you have to understand yourself in nursing school if you're not understanding yourself you cannot cope so you all i had to rush to make this video so so quick i'm dressed to go to the hospital um, i'm dressed to go see patients but i stopped here to say hi and tell you guys some things you have to understand also i advise i have witness and i'm still witnessing because what well, it is not easy i understand if you see nurses complaining just understand them like that don't feel like they are exaggerating they just want them to feel no we are actually passing through a lot and it's not easy that's why they tell us that we are rude but we are not rude i tell people this nurses are not rude you don't know what the person is facing in their family then the person comes to hospital patient will bring their whole wahala do this and that oh my god we are humans let's just understand that you all this is the end of this video i'm sure you understood everything i said this is so short and straightforward and realistic Share this video to anybody you know that is coming into nursing school or a nurse. Share this video out, please help my channel grow. And also, if you've not subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button and, and don't forget to turn your bell notification. It will help my analytics and it will help whenever I post a new video, you're gonna click in and watch me and participate and engage all of those good stuff. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. Let me go and see my patients. Bye.